What's going on everyone, Tech Tosh coming at you guys with another video. So, all the hype with all these foldable devices and the video I just released about my Galaxy Z Fold 2 review slash if I should upgrade to the Fold 3. I'll have that linked up here or down below, definitely in the description if you're looking for that. Now, if you're someone like me who just has to have the latest and greatest, you got the Fold 2 or the Fold 3. Now you're looking for things to buy for it, whether it be accessories for certain things you need. So that's what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to go over a few of the accessories I found worthy and definitely worth the money for the Fold 2. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around for the whole video. Again, everything will always be linked down below. But without further ado, I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're working with here for the accessories for my Fold 2. So let's get right to it. Here we are with everything that I think is an essential for your foldable device. Honestly, this goes to any smartphone, but I'm speaking basically on the phone that I have, which is the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Like I said, if you have the Fold 3, majority of these should work with the Fold 3. You just might need to get the Fold 3 edition. The first thing I'm gonna show you that I think is a recommended case for my Fold 2 and any phone, to be honest, if you're into this style, is the Lou Later case or Later case made by Lou from Unbox Therapy. This case isn't going to be for everyone, just like this phone isn't for everyone. Me personally, I don't like the heavy, bulky Defender style cases. They have their time and place for sure. Definitely recommend those. But me personally, on an everyday carry, I'm not going to carry a bulky, heavy duty case. That's where this stands. Thin, light, stylish. Enough protection as far as if you do a little ding or a little scratch resistant case type thing. But the main thing is that it is super sleek and the design is a carbon fiber style design. Really thin and I think it really fits well with any phone that you get that I've had so far. Like I said, I've used this for my Note 10 Plus, uh, my Note 20 Ultra as well. And they do have a Cyber Edition. This is not the Cyber Edition. So some of the basic features that they advertise with this case is it's ultra thin, so it's 0.6 millimeters, super lightweight, so it's only 10 grams, superior texture, so you do feel the texture of the case. Besides the pop socket, you can see the material. Obviously, I'll have a better B-roll, but I'm trying to get really in close, but you can see that there is a weaving material because it is a Kevlar design, so you do feel that. It's not some cheap plastic, uh, just all plastic type case. It is actually Kevlar type case. So you are still getting the durability of Kevlar, but it's just a super light but durable material. It's not going to defend your phone against crazy high drops. It's just enough though. If you set your phone down on things, if you kind of whack it against something, it is going to protect against that, that type of stuff. And you know, for me personally, that's suitable. I honestly would even be recommending the Fold if you needed something that durable. So a little later case, definitely can recommend that. Very stylish, thin, sleek, like it. The next thing on the list for your Galaxy Fold devices, that is the Samsung Trio Charger. I obviously recommend this because it saves a lot of time and a lot of wires. So you have one single pad that will be able to charge your watch, your earbuds, and your phone, or maybe two phones and a watch. It's very versatile as far as charging multiple devices, but the watch segment there is perfect because some watch chargers will not work on certain watch chargers. So I have the Galaxy Watch 3, and you can't use every type of wireless charger for the watches. So having a wireless charger specifically designed for my ecosystem, which is a Samsung ecosystem, having that watch charger and being able to charge my headset and my phone is perfect. Very convenient, definitely can recommend that. And the quality of the product is nice as well. So just some of the features on this, it does say charge together three in one, nine watt fast wireless charging, LED dimming mode, so it does have lights on it. So it will indicate when the device is on it and connected and charging it has the three lights lined up on it so each time you put a device on you'll see one light kick on and then once you see all three lights on for each device you know everything is being charged so that's great being able to have an indicator for that that is very visible so it does have an internal of six coils expanding the charging coverage so like i said very easy to put the device down you don't really need to think too much about it up to nine watts for char wireless charging it is compatible with samsung devices and up to 7.5 watts for iphone now, the next accessory that I think is not necessary, but I found it very useful for me being used to the Note 20 Ultra series. Having the S Pen there was something I didn't use on a daily basis. I'm gonna be real. I love the Note series phones. I love having an S Pen there. Just knowing I have it is why I love it. Granted, like I said, I didn't use it every day, but it was nice to have it when I needed it, whether it was to highlight letters on a paragraph that my big old fingers would just touch every letter or whether I just wanted to do a smart select 
of a screenshot, little things like that. It came in handy for sure. So not having an S Pen compatibility for the Fold 2 was definitely a decrease in far as features a phone can have from my Note 20 Ultra to the Fold 2. But in return, I got a massive foldable display. I was willing to take that loss of not having an S Pen because like I said, I didn't really use it. It was just nice to know that I had an S Pen that would stick right into my phone. I don't ever have to worry about losing it. That's the pro of, you know, the Note series phones. Now with the Fold 3 coming out, it is S Pen compatible, but it still doesn't have the convenience of the Note series with the pen being able to be stored inside the phone. Granted, yes, they have a case for it, but it just makes the phone even more bulkier. The S Pen for the Fold is not small like the Note series. It is a decent size, so you're going to have to carry that thing in your pocket or man purse or women purse or whatever purse you have, satchel. There is some downfalls with these devices being compatible for S Pen, but not having the storage to place it. Long story short, there is a solution for the Fold 2 for a stylus. It's not an S Pen, it's a stylus, but it is, it works. So if you need something to do whatever it is, you can draw with it and everything. It may not be as precise, but it works and it gets the job done if you need it. That is this guy right here. It's not a typical stylus because it's trying to work with a device that's not built for a stylus. On the very tip of this pen, you can see there's a little plastic thing that sits on a metal ball to allow this S Pen to rotate on your screen and draw and stay flush with your pen because it's not a typical stylus with a point that you can just draw like a regular pencil. But but like I said, it's a little wonky. It's not as like, doesn't look very cool with the little flat plastic thing on it, but it does have a cap so you can put the cap on. So it's not, it doesn't feel like you're gonna break it. Boom, stylish, very sleek, feels quality. So it is made of a metal material. I don't know exactly what metal. It's got like a, a clip thing here. So with the clip thing here, you can obviously clip it onto your shirt. If that's what you need or want to do with your little front pocket, you can have it stored right there. Not for everybody. Not everybody's gonna carry this around, but it has a little hook feature there that you put in your pocket, have a hook into your pocket so it doesn't get lost inside your pocket. Also, you can use this guy to open mail with the cap so you don't lose the cap when you take it off. It does twist on the back of it like good old fashioned pen where you put the cap on the back. Like I said, quality feels nice. You're not bending or breaking this thing. Very durable. I mean, if you need an S Pen, I recommend it because most of my S Pen users waiting for that Note series or didn't want to upgrade their Fold 2 to the Fold 3. This will fill that little void that you have of all the Fold 3 users having a stylus. Next thing I am going to recommend is by Anchor. Doesn't have much on the cover. So this is the Anchor 7-in-1 USB-C hub. So the connector is USB-C or whether it be your phone. I use this on my Tab S7 Plus and my Galaxy Fold 2. So this is very versatile. A lot of stuff can be used for multiple things. So that's why I can definitely recommend these things because it's not just the Fold 2. You can use it for your computer, your tablets, your phones, Whatever USB-C connector port device you have, you can pretty much use this for. Also gives you the ethernet port, so if you do use your devices for gaming, you can also use this just to give you a direct connection to your internet so you're not running off Wi-Fi. So there's a lot of different angles on why you would want to use this. Definitely could recommend this with all your foldable devices. For all my gamers, a controller I can recommend, now this could be controversial because this usually comes down to preference, but I can recommend the 8-Bit Do. So this is a Bluetooth universal controller. If you're not familiar with 8-Bit Do, they do Nintendo-esque, Super Nintendo-esque style controllers. So you can get like the old school Nintendo controllers that they had that have no handles. They were just like this little tiny thing. Or you can get like their Pro Series that actually are aiming more towards the console players who want that traditional style of controller that they're used to with the PlayStation 4. Now, that's where I would say this mostly resembles is the PS4 or PS5, whatever you're using, style controller. Obviously, it's not spot on as the same, but as far as the feel with the Joy-Cons, the triggering system, you can use it for multiple devices, whether it be your phones, your Switch, your computer, a lot of different devices you can use. And as you can see on the back here, it shows you all the systems you can use it on. Now with the Z Fold 2 being so massive with the inside screen, gaming on this thing is amazing. I mean, just having a portable gaming device in your pocket that is way better than any type a phone style app game this gives you full control of console style games so i could play rainbow six siege forza halo of course sea of thieves destiny 2 now here we are with the controller in hand now it is a very simple design it has that nintendo old school look that's the theme that 
8-bit do does with all their controllers so if you want to go ahead and check out the other styles they have definitely other styles of this controller so go ahead and check those out play in any game on the go with a controller is a plus in my book and i can definitely recommend this one that's gonna pretty much do it as far as the accessories i could recommend for my galaxy fold 2 and like i said for your foldable devices in general whether you have the fold 2 fold 3 s21 plus s21 ultra hd whatever device you have you can utilize majority of these devices that I recommend but if you just got your Fold 3 or if you got the Fold 2 and you aren't upgrading to the Fold 3 whatever your case is I can recommend these accessories for your mobile devices again everything will be linked down below so if you do enjoy this type of content what you can do to really help my channel out that takes no effort out of you is click that like button if you did enjoy it again if you want to see more content like this as always hit that subscribe button down below so that way you can get notified you know the deal i'm repeating myself every video but with that said y'all stay nerdy i'm out i'll catch y'all in the next video peace